Hello, guys. This is Trida C. Brown. You're welcome to our live section analysis that we show every week, every every Sunday, which do forecast of GDP USD, Euro USD. And it is another week 48 that we're going to be looking at. So welcome to week 48. And to, today, I want to show you what the market is um is doing and what we should expect to do or trade this last few weeks of actually this last week of the year for me december is coming i'm not planning to trade all through december because we know by experience december is always a shopping market and the market is not always smooth we know that so as traders i will advise you be careful how you trade in the month of December, but we still have a couple of weeks, couple of days for the end of the month. So by latest on 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 Thursday, on Thursday we will be having the the month coming to an end. Uh, this month of uh November. So for that reason, I think there are still one or two opportunities for us to grab the the market to take something from the market this week that is on week 48. So because of that, I'm gonna be doing a forecast on GDP USD and Euro USD. So remember, this is the moment where you are going to learn some few stuff about trading. So now we're looking at GDP USD. And before we round on, continue with what, what I was saying, I did a video last week, which was week 47, 47 and I requested for uh, a particular video to be commented on and also to be liked and subscriptions, subscribe to the channel. Why? Because we are doing a giveaway. Okay, we're doing a giveaway. So the giveaway we end this month, and actually this particular video that I'm doing now, which is week 48, will be the last video that we're gonna do for the year for giveaway. Giveaway is based on the mentorship tra training that I do every year. So I'm doing a giveaway for anyone who will qualify uh, for the random pick that we do on YouTube video comments. So last week, uh, we did a video week seven, uh, week 47. So we're going to do a random pick on that. So ensure you stay to the end, watch this video to the end, and also comment, like, and subscribe. Share the video to your friends as well. Who knows? You might be the local winner of the week 48 video of this particular video. All right. So stay to the end. We're going to do the random pick on that video. Okay. Now, I am on GDP USD. I'm looking at the daily time frame. We can see that the market has been wonderfully uh, trading to the upside. Last time, I told you that we we're going to push higher and the market eventually obeyed the instructions of going higher. Not that obeying me, but just following the analysis, looking at the market, we knew exactly where the market was going for that period. So now we're looking at the daily. We can see that the previous high here has been taken out and we have this high, which has been obviously a liquidity pool level that the market may want to come to. And we're looking at 27 and also 27,500, 1.27,500 and 28. So the key area then that I'm looking at a price may come to is 1.2800 uh, before the end of the year, hopefully before the end of the year, that we might have price coming to 1.2800 psychological level. Okay, 1.2800 psychological level. So I'll just put 1.28 there. Um, uh, that's what we're expecting price to get to uh, for the year. Hopefully it does. Then we can now see a rebate, probably a pullback, a retracement, or whatever the market want to do on the four hours. So on the daily, sorry. Now, if you check the weekly, obviously the monthly, you see that the way the monthly this month closed was interesting because it uh, is, is about to close. We have four days left on the candle for the month to close. So um, what do you think is going on here? Do you think the market is going to push higher to top and break this psychological level? Remember, we're looking at 12800 So do you think the price is going to get there? Of course, I'm thinking that way, that they might tap into 12800 before they start reacting 
to that price action. They might even break it, but I'm not so guaranteed of that. But this is the beauty of trading. Uh, they looking at the higher time frame to understand where the market intend to go. So the market rejected at 120, 122, not too much of a 122, but 120 area. And then we see that this is the, uh, the, the, the region that the market is trading on at the moment. So that's what we see on the weekly, so on the monthly. So on the weekly, we can see that price now retracing back up. See the bullish last week, this week and the bullish, and then we're looking at more bullish candle to the upside as well. So this is another high on the weekly that price may want to reach, which is 1.38500, uh, 1 um, 1.3500, okay? So, but nevertheless, we're just targeting that 1.28 for now, which can be easily smashed this week that we're entering. So pay attention to that, especially if you can catch to 50, 100 pips, uh, uh, um, 40 pips, 80 pips for the week, that's beautiful. So let's look at the four hour time frame. Now on the four hour time frame, what I see is that the market has given us opportunity within that uh, period to look for more push to the upside. So maybe 127, 127, 500. At the, at, the, at, the, at the market run. So we can see that on the four hour, the market has given us uh, opportunity to look at different uh, buy uh, uh, um, structures. So we have this high here, and then we have, again, the market giving us another high. Um, another high here, just a minute. So the market giving us another high here, another high here and now a new high is being created as you can see so these are lower highs that the market has created lower highs we can see that market created several lower highs at this level as well so um here is a very interesting structure that tried to retrace and try to tell us that the market is want to go back and start selling but that failed so eventually what we see that the market has done um, is to create a structure uh, to break the previous high and then stick it up. So on the four hour, we are bullish and we are looking at the market going up even higher. So what we're looking at now on the four hour is a retracement. We're expecting the price to pull back into a certain level of this candle and then we'll be able to look for more buys. So this week, week, 48 okay we are looking for more buys so what you want to see is that price should drop you want to see that price drop into these levels on the four hour and look for opportunity for a push to the upside and then we'll be targeting maybe 1.2600 uh, sorry, 1.2600 is a take, which is that it's easy market will blast through that. So we're looking at maybe 1.27800 around that level, or even more uh, to the upside. Just a minute. Um, sorry about that. Even more to the upside, and we can see that the market will want to go even higher uh, at that level. So let me just sh shoot this down. So yeah, we're looking at 1.2700 uh, structure level, and uh, which probably market may even break that before giving a pullback. So, so far, this is what I'm looking at to trade on GU. For those of you in my trading lab, you know what we did, we smashed it last week. Let me quickly just show you guys on the fields. Um, we did something amazing last week. This was the trade we took last week um um on gu okay so we did an analysis and we did analysis here and the market eventually played out beautifully give us a beautiful one to three uh trade and that was a beauty that was just on thursday when we trade on uh on tuesday also let me show you um in the trading analysis here that we did uh, that I sent last week, is the, the same week, um, we had beautiful, look at that beautiful trade. Okay, look at that beautiful trade. That's posted a week ago, the same week we traded. So now this was a trade that was posted five days ago. This is not the one, uh, this was, we took two trade. 
So this is five days ago. This is precisely on to on 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 to on to on um on Mon is it on Tuesday? This was on Tuesday trade or uh, Tuesday Wednesday trade, and on on when on in the morning on Thursday on Thursday or Tuesday we're able to get the the trade, and it hits TP smashed like that. So last week we took two major trade in the trading lab, all with. 2%, 2% hit 1 to 2, 1 to 2, 1 to 2.5. That was the last one. I thought this was 1 to 3, 1 to 2.5. And we made over 4% last week in week 48. So if you are not in this trading lab, then you are missing. So I want you to think about it and, and think of starting a new trading journey with the trading lab. So you'll be able to catch opportunities as it comes. So that's what we did um last week so all right this is gu like i said we're expecting more buys so um get ready guys those in the trading lab are going to be pushing price up so for you to join the trading lab the link is in the description below um um then, then click it and join and be part of the trading lab or you can get in touch with me on um in the in the telegram group the link is also in the description of this video okay that is on gu so we are expecting more buys now let's look at euro usd on euro usd we also send an analysis on this euro usd this push up that happened we took this trade this buy trade that happened on euro usd it was a bank it was a good trade um and last week as well i think it was this which this push up that happened on euro usd but not too much was uh, pre there was no much momentum on Euro USD compared to GU that we caught, so it was a good trade. Now, of course, we anticipated GU um, Euro USD to push higher, but at the moment we find that Euro USD is still struggling to break this previous high that we can see here. So we can see that the market is creating a new structure high there. Okay, which obviously. Um, we are anticipating that it might break it, but if it doesn't, so um, we might be looking at a, a pullback. But at the moment, if I go to daily on Euro USD, we can see that Euro USD is struggling to break to break that high. Um, probably thinking of um, a retracement to start dropping or something, because remember, if you check the monthly time frame is behaving like GU as well. So I still feel that it might still push up, being bullish, but it's struggling. So let's just put it on the round, round cover of price coming to that level and then breaking that strong uh, resistance level that the market has been struggling uh, all along. So we can see that there's been consolidation on the monthly time frame all along. So let's see uh, the weekly how it looks now the weekly you can see that beautiful consolidation area so it might get there and drop again like it did or break above and just keeps talking high so um euro usd is not looking very pretty at the moment but you can be careful to trade it if you feel that you want to trade uh euro usd um uh, to the top because there's still more a little room to the upside but um i doubt if it wants to push higher if it does then we should expect price to take out all of these liquidities around here then before going up so the first thing i want to look at here is to look at this euro usd on the four hour because it's going to be like a short trade coming in this week and want to take it uh, just quickly and and then we're done so um first we we can see that this was structural high that was taken out so we see that uh, at this level right here price just broke this high to the upside so we have a new structural low uh obviously we haven't gotten a new one here so the market may still push higher that's what i'm saying so at the moment we can see that this high is a very liquidity area strong liquidity area that the market will want to come to and also which we anticipate it should now here is where the problem is you see this structure here and then a pullback and you will be thinking it was retracing to continue to the downside and then it took that liquidity out and then it's coming back down because there's consolidation in the monthly time frame but nevertheless you need to be focused on what the market is going to give you so the best thing is wait for this candle to push away 
uh, push a little bit lower. And if it doesn't break this structure low, this liquidity low here, if it doesn't take it out, then we can anticipate a buy from this block. But at the moment, I won't be able to give you specifics of how this market is going to go on Euro USD. But though it's bullish market, we can see structure wise, okay, right there that the market created that high over there. And then um, this is, we can take this as a lower high, obviously over here. But the truth is, um, this whole move can be one movement to the upside and then it might reject our, this other block and then start playing around. But uh, the truth is that's not what we want to see because that can be a massive consolidation in the market that it might do. So the best thing um, I would advise you to do is watch on Euro USD from the four hour time frame. Okay, watch what the market is doing from the four hour time frame and to make your decision on how to trade it. That means let it be that it keep this zone and it doesn't want to trade above it. If it doesn't want to trade above it, then we're looking for sell. So the market may want to tank to the downside to take our liquidities. And then, and, and that can be the situation if, if, it, if it happens in that manner, because there's so much liquidity to the downside that he wants to target like this zone, this zone, these are all liquidities uh, that the market want to like try to target, especially this, this uh, immediate liquidity pool that he wants to target as well. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that Euro USD may want to drop, even though they trade in correlation with GU, but still sometimes they are slow and the movement that they make is not always as on point as we anticipate. So that is what I think on both pairs for this week. The is week 48 is a very short week. And also um, we did um, um, a, a, this, uh, a, a Black Friday discount offer on our mentorship programs, which ended uh, uh, yesterday, I mean, on Saturday morning. It ended on Saturday morning. So um, for those of you who were able to get in, um, hopefully you still have the opportunity if you want to then get in touch with me just write to me personally on my uh, telegram and I will I will, I will look into uh, getting you on board okay that's what we do uh, that's exactly um, uh, what I'm looking at so let me bring in the YouTube uh, uh, comment picker um, let me just quickly uh, pick the two that's the one so let's do this let's get the youtube video and 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 let's see because it was euro usd so we we'll get the video is copied and i'm bringing it right here so this is the video and i'm gonna just uh select the video that's the video right guys so i don't want multiple uh, uh, uh multiple uh comments from one person um so filtered by word you specify no we don't want to filter by word so let's fetch the comments so we have about 28 comments of people that's not a lot but at least we should get a winner from this so we're looking for a winner from this so let's speak who is the winner all right here we go the winner has appeared wow was was he diamond congratulations was he diamond you are really you really dished out a lot of knowledge thank you sir Having you as a mentor will be a great opportunity. Welcome, bro. I'm now welcoming you officially into our team. So write to me on my DM, um, on my Telegram group, and also um, um, to show that you watch this video, I want to give you an assignment. Take this. And get, okay. Get in touch with me. With us. I'll know. So I'm going to ask you a few questions in there. Once you get in touch with me to know that you are the person. Okay. So thank you so much, guys. Congratulations to Wazi Diamond. And I'll see you inside. So guys, that is it for the week 48. Because this week, we are almost done. Um, We have just like five weeks left for the end of the year. So I want to encourage you to trade wisely for the month of December. Okay, so if at all, if I were you, I would stay away from the market. So it's going to be a period where I'll be educating and teaching people more instead of more like trading. We're going to be planning for the year 2024 much more. 
and we're going to be smashing the market, you know, dealing with bigger, bigger account pop firms and, and, and trading and making bigger income. So get ready for that. All right, guys, that's what I have to share with you today on this pairs. And I'm going to be doing um, a pair, an analysis on gold. And also um, we're going to be looking at um, um, a GDP, US, a GDP, JPY also on the pair. So for those of you that trade that pair, get ready for that video. It's going to be next. Bye for now, guys. I'll see you in the next one.